So guys, I know Final Fantasy VII is coming out next year, and you know, because I have to be a YouTube shill, welcome to Let's Play Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. To be Except fair, not, that would be a good game. <laughs> to be fair, you made the right decision. I, yeah, no, this is, I think this is a win-win, no matter how you break this down. Nah, I'm fucking with you, we're doing <laughs> this all too. And we're fucking with you again. <laughs> welcome to Let's Play K-On! <laughs> oh, woof! We're three and three. Okay, no, seriously, we are doing Heat Soul 2 today. Okay, so this has been... That music. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> so first of all, this is something some of you may not be familiar with. So, oh, for, we, we gotta turn the the uh, frame rate off. Uh, we'll do that after we start. Yeah, okay, so first of all, some of you... You actually want to go back to, the, to that menu for, first? Okay, so first of all, what the fuck are we looking at? So, this is the very first game we're doing a full Let's Play of that actually starts... Or is just being straight emulated because I think we've come to a point in our lives where the PSP component cables are just not cutting it anymore, and our technology is decent enough that we can actually uh, emulate this game and make it look pretty decent. I think it looks pretty alright. That's a very convenient lie, but you told me you lost it. <laughs> I said temporarily <laughs> missing. There's a difference between not being dug up and being missing. I know if I were to look for it right now in 10 minutes, I'd probably find it. To be fair, initially, like a year ago, we had planned to do uh, uh, to do them on the hacked Vita. Yeah, yeah. Vita TV is still so a damn good thing, but only was modded. But nah, not really. Anyway, so what we're doing today is you know Heat the Soul too. So it's been a little while since we actually touched Bleach. Um, actually, quite a bit. Uh, 2017. Probably right, right after spring 2017. Ended was when we did three. We're opening up Old Man Yama. That's a hell of a way to kick this off. It's, uh, promoing the captain mode. Yep. Oof, that looks rough. <laughs> this, this, the PSP emulator can only upscale so much, it can't make 2004 footage look magically that much better. Although, that's why I have the Blu-ray 4s, luckily. Blu-rays 4, that's why I meant. Please keep continue releasing the Blu-rays. You're on set number four out of what'll probably be... Uh, 12 or 13. Keep them coming. It's been a year since you released set 4. Yeah. Also, this is a, this is a uh, licensed song. I don't know if I'll be able to post this on YouTube. I'm going to experiment with that, see if I can. If I can't... There are videos of this that are up. You should be fine. It, yeah, I'll, I'll get creative if I can't. But you hopefully should. Anyway, so... This is Chance by Uberworld, who also did the second opening for Bleach, which I don't immediately... detect my life. <laughs> and this is not original footage, as I'm sure most of you can tell. This is just recut anime footage. Yeah. So, uh, he just sold to originally recently in 2005, I want to say. This, is, this yes. game's a little old now, shit. Uh, this is now the second to the last Bleach Heat Soul game. Bleach we made their name on the PSP in terms of video games, didn't they? Yeah, no kidding. They were, on the DS, they were on the DS, PS2, and Wii and all of that, but they had nine games on the PSP. Oof. Yeah, so, uh, Heat the Soul 2, 2005, this is the second to last game in the Heat the Soul series we have not actually looked at. Now, for those who have stuck with us for a while, when we do Heat the Soul 1, we're gonna give you guys a little special announcement, <laughs> and you might actually enjoy that a little bit. So, first of all, above here... That'll be an occasion, the very first Bleach game ever. Yes, it, holy shit, it will 2004, be. it may have been a PSP launch title. God damn. It may have been, I'll have to look into that. But in the spirit of Tide Kubo, when we get to the finale, I'm going to give you guys a very special announcement. No, 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 wait, hold on. The last time we did a Bleach game was two years ago. Fuck. And some people have been asking, do you know what I think? What? I think some people don't appreciate the pace at which I move. <laughs> they can learn a thing or two from this old mountain man. <laughs> oh, God, I, I love shit like that. <laughs> Alright, so, so when, uh, I had a train of thought. Yeah, so... For those who have been yeah, following for a while, we've been doing Heat and Soul kind of backwards. We started with 6 and 7, which is like kind of the ass end of the series, and when we went 5, 4, That's and better. then we did 3. Now, as opposed to a lot of prior instances... Look at these beautifully stylized menus. Yeah, holy shit. Bleach got that down right from the beginning. Yeah, so as opposed to a, a lot of how we've been doing it so far, Bob here has actually been not only deep diving the lore of Bleach a little bit, still need to watch for Mike and Pendulum, <laughs> I've actually been practicing the shit out of this game. To a greater or lesser degree. I'm actually confident of the game enough now to... We don't need to use cheat codes? <laughs> to be fair, we only needed it the once. Yes, we only needed it the once, and uh, hopefully never again. <clears throat> yeah. 
So, uh, God, this is such a 2005. Jesus Christ. Oh God, I just I'm looking at it more and more, and this upscaling. Is it the bangs? No, the upscaling does no favors for her eyes. No, not really. Also, the big the elephant in the room that you'll see a handful of times through this is that human characters have some original costumes. And I appreciate them having the non-standard ones. They look a lot better in these outfits than in the ones they actually had during uh, Soul Society. He, Chad Norihime just dressed out in their yoga clothes. <laughs> yeah, that was always the weirdest thing to me, personally. Oh, man. So, are we, are we starting the story, or are we jumping... Okay, story, okay. So... First of all, I want to give a huge plug to my Twitch <laughs> channel because I've actually I did a huge package run of this game, literally like two days ago, prior to this recording. Um, it is currently I'm going to date myself hard. July second. Let's see how long it takes. July second, twenty twenty one. Don't confuse them that much. <laughs> Some people don't read the dates of posting videos. <laughs> but no, today's July second, uh, twenty nineteen, and. Well, I'm wondering how long it's going to take for the rest of One Piece Grand Adventure to get posted. I'm also doing that, I know. Uh, that will date you extremely hard, just like yeah. some of our just like our audio from Grand Adventure dates uh, dates the current time very hard. Yes, but... Uh, I hope Christmas goes well. <laughs> yeah, right? I hope I did well back in fall of 2018. <laughs> anyway. Uh, seriously guys, go follow me on Twitch because I'm making a huge push for people to go over there because I actually do full practice playthroughs of games we do end up doing over there. So, that would be pretty cool because I'm trying to set up a little home over there. You know, a lot of casual playthroughs, a lot of stuff like that. So over there, I did a full practice run of this game. If all six of these characters, yes, there's only six story modes in this fucking game. To be fair, this is also the very first uh, Bleach game that actually has, well, very first Bleach game we're doing, going backwards, of course, that has an arcade-style story mode. Do you think that was a mistake? So-so. No, to go backwards. Oh, uh, no, I don't think it was at all, actually. <laughs> Show all the good stuff first, and the, the center from there. That way you have all the prior, you know, knowledge going uh, going forward, or backwards, I guess. Um, the weird thing is that, so, this game... The story mode goes explicitly from, like, pretty much when Ichigo shows up in the Serete to attempting to rescue uh, Rukia from the tower, but Byakuya kind of steps in and uh, Yoruji kind of to break that up. That's literally the beginning and end of the story mode. <laughs> yep. So it's supposed to be 20... It covers about 20 episodes, but only has, like, three fights. Yeah. And hold on a second, I'm going to check again. I think I might have left one of the filters on. I don't think you did, actually. I think you're fine. Oh. The text definitely looks like it has a fill, like it uh, has actually, smooth. Actually, while, while we're thinking about, it, could you turn the FPS counter off? Oh yeah, because we are actually doing things with that right now. Don't. So since this is, you know, an emulated game, we've actually been doing a lot of research into this, or as I have, and we have it running to a pretty decent standard. Some of these games want to try to run sixty. It's the weirdest thing, but they they say they're technically locked at thirty. I don't <laughs> get it, but. I don't know. The bottom line is, he still runs really well on, on KPS SPP. If you want to try these games out, it is so goddamn easy to do so. Oh. Also, also because the licenses are a little dubious for where these games are distributed, so you can get easily get your hands on the shit. Hold up a sec, I'm just noticing now that apparently even in the story menu it actually has the triangle button for alternate costumes. So whenever you're switching your, picking your character, uh, pick their alternate costumes. For story mode? Oh, yeah, uh, for all of them. Let's all let's pick the okay. alternate costumes each time. The only thing I wouldn't do is Ichigo's, because Ichigo's is like a hard gray and looks boring. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the only time I'll, I'll say don't do that. Alright, all right. so since there's only six characters in the story mode, each of them has their own unique path, and you go down some winding, funky roads throughout this. Uh, to give a brief spoiler, Ichigo ends up saving... Encountering Byakuya, I don't think he saves Rukia. No. But then Renji, in his story mode, he saves Rukia at the end. <laughs> and that's just the funniest shit ever in my book. <laughs> Actually, I should probably ask if I could start so I can start with Ichigo so we can have a baseline going into this. Not a big fucking deal. So yeah, since there's only six characters, Brandon and I had to split 3-3. Uh, th three, three. He's got Renji, Byakuya, and Koshiro, I think? Yeah. Yeah, and meanwhile I have Ichigo... Um, Yin and Urahara. I got the K-pop band. You do? And it's hilarious because... Uh, also, Ch Chad in a green shirt. Okay, he needs to wear that shit more often. 
He looks ridiculous. I love it. It's so interesting because when you go back to a game that has a lower roster, you, you tend to like find nuances and characters a lot more. And I found some really weird shit. Like, Urahara can do some dumb bullshit with his jabs. It's this, kind of amazing. The split screen <clears throat> in diagonal really dates the fact that this game comes from 2005. Also, if you pay attention to how like the panels slide next to each other, they look almost like weird 3D objects. It's kind of odd. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's the damnedest thing, but you know what? Whatever, I don't know. It's 2005, whatever. <laughs> for, for a 2005 game, this game looks pretty fucking decent. Yeah. Yep. Yep, like, look at this shit. <laughs> Holy crap. It's probably for the best that we actually got this running <laughs> on, on an emulator instead, so... Occasional, occasional, like, one or two frame drops aside, this game runs super well. Like, <laughs> it's actually pretty goddamn amazing. So yeah, um, unfortunately we couldn't find any translations for the story mode for this game, but we can probably make the safe assumption that it's like a general series of events following the story it. mode. Oop. Like, Renji is just kind of walking outside the Sarate and suddenly just finds Chad. Makes sense about- they, makes a good amount of sense, I guess. <laughs> Saving Gein from having to do, from do, to do his job. <laughs> also, I do like how Renji's ultimate costume is his old, like, training gear, it's kind of cute. I think they actually have different camera angles for some of these specials. Yep. Yeah. It's funny you mention that, actually. I'm going to mention that. I think about that later on. <clears throat> it involves, uh, he sold something funny enough. <laughs> anyway, so... Oh, Kukaku's house is in the back there. Oh, it's not? Behind Chad's ass. Oh, yeah, it is. Holy shit. <laughs> That's uh, cute. What was missed? Also, use your forward, forward circle. Forward circle is just, like, kind of the bread and butter of Renji's game plan. Hold on, it's like, I'm going to stop here. There's yeah. a mu These stages are much grander than they would be in later games, which are more confined, but are more conducive to a faster fight. Yeah. These slower ones where you move slower, they're so much wider, it's like they actually rendered shit, maybe not actually that far out into the distance, but that's impressive that they actually bothered make it, uh, making it so uh, such a high scale. Yeah, they probably had to wind it back later on to uh, conserve processing power for the, for the PSP, because it's only slightly stronger than the PS1, really. And sometimes, occasionally, somehow, uh, allow for 60 FPS. No, really I weird. <laughs> no, I still don't get it. Nope, not at all. <laughs> also, it's so hilarious when you go, when you move to an emulator. Uh, the fact that this is running on a classic ninja engine really shines through. Yeah. So, for example, like you've probably seen like weird like after image effects on Renji's uh, Shikai when he uses it. That's a huge trademark of Clash Ninja Two. It's actually amazing. Also, yeah, I, I know the the, the this, house on the left. Uh, uh, yeah. I was more going to talk about, like, just the sheer contrast of going from a high quality, like, a 1080p fight to this. Sad the 1080p really shows the, the rust. Sadly, there's not much you can do about pre-rendered images. There is some post-processing stuff you can do in PPS with PP that can do change it a little bit, but... It's not worth uh, messing no, with. No, not really. Are we going to wait for their lines to finish playing out each time, or...? We can, yeah. Do we have to? I'm, I'm going to assume not many people in my audience know Japanese, and if you do know Japanese, then you should probably be playing this game. I mean, I'll, I'll let it reach the end of the screen, but actually uh, voicing them. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. These characters, even though they're character portraits, each of their mouths move, and they have individual reactions. For as small as that is, that is extremely charming. Especially since it's kind of their anime art. Yeah. <laughs> also, Renji has his, has his goggles on. When he went to, to uh, Human World, that's really, really cool. He did have one set of- he had a set of them- he had to buy another set of them, uh, for when he fought Ichigo in Soul Society, and then when Ichigo broke that pair, that's when he decided, now nah, I'm gonna say- I'm gonna stay with, uh, the headband thing, because- <laughs> because, uh, the last pair literally cost me a- cost me a month's paycheck. Dude, seriously? Yes, that's an actual thing. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Because he goes to a specialized sunglasses, a uh, sunglass hut in Soul Society. Let's be real here, Meyer is just charging him an arm and a leg. Not from... <laughs> I didn't even notice, he still has the goggles on this outfit too, really nice. There's some interesting things you learn about God looking at those backgrounds, even in here, just so much better. Yeah, right? <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. They don't render shit that far out into the distance in any of the later games. Not really, you're right. They cut out all of these sorts of stages. Hmm. So, I guess to say a few things about uh, Renji here. This is actually the very first time we're playing a game where he has his regular sword usable. Like, normally from here on out, it's always his Shikai, so... 
it's so strange to go back and just be like, oh wow, he has an actual sword. Holy fuck, that isn't just like the, the giant weird fish hook thing. So, so society where it was a time where briefly people remembered, oh wait, they had sealed swords. Yeah. No, you don't. Very briefly a time when I remembered, so far it's a thing, and... <laughs> really, I, I, the, the quote from Aizen, where a fight between soul reapers is a fight between uh, spiritual pressures, I hate that so much. Do you know what that's in, what that's directly referencing in context? Uh, the, is it re referencing how fucking ridiculously powerful Aizen is? Yes, actually. But oh more... no, that's when he actually overpowered Soifone's uh, Shikai, right? Yes, because she actually landed a two-hit death attack on him. Yeah. And it didn't work because his spiritual pressure is so much bigger than hers that nothing she could do could ever possibly hit him. I, so yeah. even if she stabbed him in the face, it literally wouldn't do anything because his because his energy is because his energy dick is so much bigger than hers. I hate that so fucking much. Uh, <laughs> just, right then and there, it just turned the series into Dragon Ball Z. I mean, arguably it was on the slope anyway because of Hoikamunda, but still. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we just beat up Gein. He's probably upset that we couldn't, uh... He couldn't be the one to take the people on the outside. <laughs> oh, hello, character who's never in the series ever. Yeah. Person that teching our use should have re replaced uh, Kotetsu as a uh, vice captain. <laughs> Unohana, but yeah. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> no, Kotetsu, no, no, no. Kotetsu became the captain uh, of that of the healing squad. So I'm trying to remember if that was her first name or her last name, uh, because she has a sister that was the third seat of Squad 13. Yeah, that's... The orange one. Yeah, this is a beginning of the vice captain. Uh, Hanatro yeah. just needs love, damn it. Uh, Hanatro became the lieutenant, uh, the uh, silver-haired one with the deceptively enormous tits became the captain because she yep. was the lieutenant. Actu actually, Hanatro didn't become the lieutenant. He was promoted, I know that for a fact. Much of a he, pro he probably did get promoted, but he was in the final chapter, final two chapters for Bleach. He wasn't he, right. He wasn't her her sister her. became her lieutenant. Yeah, and then I forget was uh, Renji still Byakuya's lieutenant, or did he become Rukia's yeah, lieutenant? Yes, uh, and, Renji chose to just kind of work under Byakuya because you know a goal to look forward to, I guess. Okay, but see, that's not Ikaku's uh, Kenpachi fetish thing. Renji has the chance because he has a Bankai to actually advance in the ranks. Uh, crappy one at the start, but that got better, so he probably is actually captain level. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, no, Renji's easily captain level by now. I'm sure I've probably mentioned this a couple hundred times in the past, but Renji is one of my top favorite characters. And I get sad when people shit on him. After I've recently gotten reacquainted with Bleach, part it started with me just researching shit for the series, and then I kind of got sucked into a lot of Tekken's old videos. <laughs> I, I'm like, yeah, I can absolutely agree with him being one of the best characters. Because Renji is actually a developed character, and Ichigo is not. I feel like I do like Ichigo still, but... He's not a bad character, per se. He's not... To make a direct comparison, he's not, he's not annoying in the same way that early Naruto, who still does develop, is, but... He's not exactly what you would call a generally likable character either. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> that's actually that is literally a plot point at the end of uh, the Fullbring arc. Rookie actually says that because Ichigo has not once developed or changed over the past four hundred and eighty or ninety some odd chapters, he is the perfect person to put uh, Ginjo in his place <laughs> because he never grew as a character. In like seven, uh, in like nine years. That is hilarious. The, the Ichigo that starts uh, Bleach is the same Ichigo that ends Bleach, pretty much. He's a well, little he's more... a little friendlier, like when he when he after he nails over Hime, but he's still. <laughs> this is a uh, picture I'm sure you need to you've already seen, but if not, I need to show you of uh, the one artist on Twitter that keeps drawing uh, Rukia stuff and all of the Resident Evil stuff with yes, uh, Ada. Ada. And uh, one of them was uh, Urahara taking present Ichigo into the future and seeing Ichigo dad a haircut, eating chips on the couch, <laughs> gets, yeah. gets a single look at him and it's like, Ugh, I've seen enough, take me back, I miss Rukia already. <laughs> yeah. Dangerous Bride has made a huge name for herself ever since Resident Evil came out. 
Yep. Like, that's where it really took <laughs> off, I noticed. Because I, I used to follow her on Tumblr for years before Twitter happened and, yeah, blew up. <laughs> Fun stuff. I forget what side it was on briefly. <laughs> yeah, you usually <laughs> are stuck with Ichigo on, on his fight, to be fair. Also, yeah, no, Ichigo's range is crap. If you want to screw him over, uh, you can just... Long circle. distance, Zabi Mario. Yeah. He has a, the only benefit he has going for him is a slight longer normal sword, but like he has no projectiles, he has no long range control. <clears throat> really, you can just fuck him over that way. Yeah, yeah he, the AI the AI loves going for that string. Um, you can actually sidestep the last hit. That's so, that gets you a good bit of meter off of, ch off of that just connecting. Oh yeah, definitely, especially if it's counter of a counter hit. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm going to explain a few things that I've learned about the combat system going for on Heat Soul Three and Two. So, one of, the, a few, one of the big things about this game, actually, is that there's no training mode. <laughs> now, normally I'd be a lot more up in a run about this, because fucking J-Stars has that giant problem, and it it's only not, got right in Jump Force. It's not as much of a problem when games that use the exact same engine for seven games in a row, later games do have that training mode. Exactly. So, there was never a point I felt out of practice and I was stuck in a hole. But, just... <laughs> And I did no practice for this game whatsoever, but a literal decade's worth of knowledge on the, on the series is keeping me going just fine. Yeah, I imagine my stream two days ago helped with that also with the refreshers. Just also, remembering some things, but I can jump into these yeah. smooth as butter. There's also no R cancelling, unfortunately. That I that combo I don't think I, I ever used that when we did six and seven even once. I didn't I barely knew about I barely knew how it worked, but now I think you discovered it towards the end of seven. Yeah. And then I'm oh, hello. I combos of it into my combo video, and it's great. <laughs> Fun shit. Renchi's a fucking vampire. He has he has no color in his skin. Yeah. And that's saying something standing next to Toshiro, Ice Boy, who should be pale as snow. It's fun. Yeah. I, well, the white hair also does kind of accentuate his skin tone a bit more too. Suppose that's true. Yeah. Oh yeah. How do you feel about adult Toshiro? I am neutral. I mean, it's cool that it happened, but for that to be a hidden ability of his Bankai it just feels like... the fuck? It is not a retcon. No? Not really. And it, it's also the silliest thing ever uh, about... the whole thing about what his Bankai actually is. It, it's like, oh, I, originally everyone thought that one, one of the flowers right now, he actually... his Bankai would end. No, it becomes an adult and becomes more powerful. Okay. The only reason people thought that was because Another, it was, uh... Another character made that assumption. Uh, the first wrong card he ever fought assumed that, and he didn't say no. He nope. didn't say yes, but he didn't say no. Pretty much. No, actually, no, he didn't answer him at all, I think, when... Shaolong asked him that question. Yeah. I do believe you're correct, yeah. He just kind of stared at him. <laughs> As he tends to do. But yeah, um, you also have a good move in your, in your down circle circle. It's actually a really good, like, sweeping move that, um, it's good that you're one of your best friends against Toshiro. So, since there's only six characters in destroy mode, I've actually gotten acquainted with each one of them fairly well. Toshiro's a little bastard. Was that the attack you said you wanted to learn how to do earlier? Uh, the kick? The weird overhead axe kick that you do. Yeah, that uh, one. How did you do that? Forward, forward, X. Forward, forward. You have you have slight dash attacks. Do you? S very slightly. That's weird. Not not. Oh that yeah, that's right. Dashing is also good, hella good in this game for me. Like he sold six and seven. You don't have the dash you'd have in later games. No, you don't. You can't like mad dash at your opponents. This game is a lot more balanced on uh, like actual spacing and stuff like that. So if you have basic knowledge in like Clash and Ninja, you're going to do exceedingly well here. This is also the first time I've actually ever felt that the being able to move vertically up and down actually meant something in one of these games. You mean like in uh, a fighting game at, at, ever? I know you say that. I know you say that's important in Tekken and stuff, but this is the first time I've ever felt that this actually meant anything. Play Soul Calibur, you will especially feel it there. Like everything. Well, that, that's proper eight directional movement. Yeah. Oh. This game also has eight directional movement. Funny enough. Oh. What? What? Yeah, it, the hitbox lingers. I was right underneath it. I didn't know if I should press forward or backward. Uh, I would I would get underneath him and hold back. So, to guard that way. Because I don't believe there's any cross-up hitboxes or anything. Probably not. How do you think, to compare to the time, how do you think this uh, holds up next to, say, Clash 2 or maybe 3? I would still rather play Clash Ninja, but if I'm, if I'm being honest... 
Well, okay, you haven't heard my reasons yet. Well, no, those, those are better games generally. Yeah. Well, six but and seven are better th than I feel two. But. It's weirdly enough, he just sold like actually grummy a little bit recently. <laughs> Anti air, I guess. Y yeah, well, no, six and seven are great. The early ones. Mm. Also, you do still have your air dash in this game. Um, it's a really good air dash, but it still exists if you want to use it. It's more like a lunge than anything else. 